Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Welcome to another Monday. I hope you had a good weekend. I'm Redbeard. This is the Redbeard Grind. And all I do is make videos of what I sold on eBay and sometimes Poshmark Monday through Friday. I release these things consistently. So if you want to see the brands that are selling and what they're selling for, hang around, click that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Uh, let's get into it. I try to go fast so I don't waste your time. You can get the information you want. Um, so the weekend we did 54 sales. This is Friday through Sunday. Uh, I did $1,500 in sales. I'm going to sort it high to low, and I will go over just the good stuff, um, and we'll we'll go from high to low. And as you uh, you get bored or you, you're losing interest, you can just check out. So I'll go over most of this stuff on the first page, but um, I don't think I'll go much much past that. All right, number one. Number one is not closed. This is a um, like a, one of those little robot vacuum cleaners I bought. I bought this a while back. I listed this December 3rd. Um, in 2023, it's trying to get 60 bucks for it. It finally sold for 41 and uh, shipping was 19 bucks. So I made some money on the shipping and I made some money on the sell. This was a, um, I think like a $9 buy for me. I found it for nine bucks, cleaned it up. It, it had been used, but hardly used at all. And I tested it at work. Uh, so that's out of here. Um, you can find all kinds of stuff like this at the Goodwills and Salvation Armies and the thrifts. Uh, number two. This was a good sell. This went fast. I listed this May 13th. Bellstaff is a good company for finding um, sweaters of all different variations. This was a full zip uh, raglan sleeve sweater. Let me show you the, the, uh, the logo. This is the logo inside, uh, made in Italy. There's not much that I can show you on the outside so that you could identify it. This is on the outside, uh, Bellstaff, but that's pretty small, and I don't know exactly where it's at. Let's see. I don't. I think it's down on the side or something, or maybe on the sleeve. But this is a really heavy sweater. So if you are going through and you feel like a something that just feels thick and heavy, maybe check it out. Uh, but it's Bell Staff. It's a good brand. It has a great great sell through rate. I bought this thing for I want to say four ninety nine, five ninety nine, and flipped it for. I took an offer of I think sixty five dollars, and then with shipping, I got, ended up getting seventy three with it. Vintage polo. So these, both of these are, uh, oh, what next three cells are polo. Um, so I don't pick up all polo Ralph Lauren, but I do pick up the older stuff. Um, the blue and silver tags I'll pick up if it's an item that has a good sell through rate, it goes for a decent amount of money. I, I sell tons of it. Um, these were some corduroy pants. I always look at the corduroy pants of it every time I see them at the thrift and see what brand it is and see if it's old or not. But this is your tag. This is the blue and silver tag you're looking for. And if they're made in the USA, it's even, it'll even go for more money. And if these things are pleated or are cuffed on the bottom, that even goes for more money. So just check out all the corduroys that you can. Um, there's tons of good brands out there. Uh, Bill's Khaki Corduroys do good, um, or Khaki Bill's. I can't remember what that, that brand is called. But there's nothing special about these. It's, they're just the um, blue and silver tag. And all this all this stuff is inside the pants, so you won't see anything on the outside that would tell you this is Polo Ralph Lauren. I don't even think the buttons, or the buttons are just plain buttons. But uh, corduroys, I always look at corduroys, men's and women's, and see what the brand is. These went for 36 bucks. I sold, I bought them for, I think, six ninety nine, and listed them April 6th, so they moved pretty fast. They're a good flip. Some more blue and silver tag. This one, I sold these shorts for 35 bucks or 34 and some change and uh, bought these for 4.99. These are really nice. This is the, um, the gingham check, kind of like blue and red, it looks like, and they're pleated. Uh, so all that stuff equal, and plus the blue and silver tag, all that stuff equal, like buy it. These were easy to comp. Like when you're, when you're out in the store, you want to know that you're going to make your money. Um, I, pro I may not have comp these, but if you're in the store and you don't know if these are valuable or not, put Vintage Polo Ralph Lauren, um, Tyler Short, and maybe put the size and see what the sell through rate is and see what they're going for, and then pull the trigger if it looks like a good deal. But these shorts were great. Um, that, that type of style with the pleat on there, the, the front pleated, um, sells pretty good. I'm happy with that sell. And I listed this April 17th, so hasn't been set around too long. And another Polo Ralph Lauren. This one is not vintage, this is modern. That's your modern tag right there, or more modern tag. And I picked this up because of the all over um, island embroidery, or these are just like palm trees. And I think someone say polo on it. That one says polo next to it. 
So anything that's unusual or rare, I'll pick up. I don't know if this is necessarily rare, but I don't see it all the time. I'm I'm out thrifting at least four or five days a week, if not sometimes six or seven. And I've never come across anything like this. So it was an automatic pickup for me. I knew I would just comp it and pre bill and move it at a decent price. I listed this on April 23rd and it's out of here. So those are the, just the modern tags inside. Uh, and again, if you see anything unusual with embroidery, pattern, color, flashy, if it looks different than everything else that you've ever seen, um, look into it, comp it. I got uh, 40 bucks with shipping on that one. South Pole. The South Pole baggy jeans is what you want to be looking for right now and buying and selling for crazy amounts of money. You can sell the jeans from, depending on what they are, the color and the wear on them, from like 40 bucks up to 80 over 100. They're kind of, they're really hot right now, but I can't find them all the time. I'm finding the denim shorts. I'm selling, I find these, it seems like weekly right now. And I'm selling the denim shorts for over 30 bucks. All of them are going for over 30. Um, this one even had some flaws on it. Like the, so the little patch on the back is gone. Uh, there's some, some wear on it, a little scuff there. But I listed these May 3rd, sold them for 32 and some change. And they're out of there. This is what you're looking for, South Pole. Nothing special about this brand. It's just, it's, it's just hot right now. Um, and it's the baggy jeans that are really hot. The, the shorts aren't really hot, but they're doing well. I'm selling tons. I'm getting any baggy shorts right now that are denim from a bunch of different brands uh, and, and selling all of them. Just watch my past videos. Of, I, 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 you'd have, that'd be a lot of video time to watch. But um, the baggy denim shorts are also selling like crazy. I've sold several different brands. Let's see, Robert Graham. I'm a Robert Graham fan. I still pick up the shirts and the shorts and the pants and the swimsuits, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm very specific with what I pick up. I just pick up the really flashy, st loud stuff um, or limited edition stuff. I don't pick up all of it. The plain stuff doesn't sell as well. And Robert Graham's had its day, like years back, it was selling for a lot more money, but it still goes. I still sell the long sleeve shirts for in the probably $30 to $50 range, depending on what it is. Um, so maybe on $40 on average. This is some swim trunks I found. I just thought they looked cool. Uh, listed them April 9th, bought them for $4.99 and sold them for, uh, I took an offer. So I probably I probably took an offer for around 26, 27, something like that. Usually I'll take offers for 10 to 15% off and I, I won't go below 15% unless it's been setting a while. But these are just really cool looking. I like them. That's your inside tag, Robert Graham. I don't know if there's any way that you could identify them on the outside. Uh, well, there's Robert Graham on the buttons there. And when I was going through, like just the pattern uh, attracted me to it. And then when I saw it was Robert Graham, I just grabbed it. Uh, let's see how much I got with the shipping. So 38 bucks with shipping for some 4.99 shorts. Guess, guess is something I rarely buy. It's usually got to be vintage made in the USA for me to pick it up. And it's usually going to be jeans. Uh, but even then, I don't always go for it. I'll comp it um, and see if it moves sometimes. But I, I, I ignore guests for the, for the most part. But these are linen. I think they're linen. 100% linen. Let's see. Um, yeah, 100% linen. And I bought these because of uh, the summertime linen sell, you know, crunch. Everybody's going to start buying linen right now. It's going to be hot all the way through the summer. I figured I could move these and I sold them for 30 bucks. Um, this is actually the second time I sold them. So I know they moved. Uh, the first, first person returned them because they didn't fit. And uh, I listed them again April 25th and they're out of here. So um, if you see linen pants, any brand or linen shirts, any brand, I would at least comp it to see if it has a decent sell through rate. But linen's going to continue to sell throughout the whole summer. I usually load up on it. I'll buy even plain shirts, plain Tommy Bahama linens, plain anything linen. I'll, I'll, I'll load up on it and sell it throughout the summer. Under Armour golf pants. I just listed these, I think. May 16th, 30 bucks. Um, I don't always pick these up. I didn't know I was going to get that much money for them. I needed some inventory, so I'm going to have to rethink Under Armour golf pants. Um, I'm really happy with that sell. It moved fast. Uh, let's see. They're just normal golf pants. Nothing special about this. There's your logo on the back. You can see. And I think most people are familiar with Under Armour. The tag's been cut out. When the tag's cut out, I I take a picture just so the customer can see the, the tag's cut out. 
Um, that's all you have on the inside to go by. But they moved fast. Listed March 16th, 30 bucks out of here. I paid $6.99 for them. And hoodies. You can still sell hoodies. I sold this for almost $32. I've had it for a while. Let's see. I listed it January 10th. I wish it would have sold in January. But this was just a cool looking hoodie. I, I'm not a huge Nike fan. Nike's a giant company and eBay, all markets are saturated with it. So you have to know what you're getting uh, before you just pull the trigger and go buy Nike. There's like, if you get Nike Pro, Nike Pro Combat shirts, the markets are just saturated with all that stuff. Um, I just, I forgot I to turn on my light. Hopefully you guys can see. Uh, it doesn't matter. This is the main stuff anyways on the screen. Um, but Nike is a, is a brand that I'm very careful with and I'll buy kind of something that looks unique or if I can comp it and find, find it to see what it's going for, I will. But most of this stuff, I don't even know how to comp. Like you put full zip Nike hoodie and you're just going to get hundreds of thousands of hits and you really won't be able to drill down to a specific sell through rate. Maybe I put camo hoodie or something. I don't know. Um, but this one was pretty cool looking. So I just picked it up. That's a, a Nike basketball. So a Nike basketball hoodie. Maybe I comped it that way. Um, but I don't buy a lot, a lot of Nike. It does sell. You can sell it. You just have to have it for the right price. It's very competitive. Um, but that was a good flip. It did set for a while though. Let's see, vintage Jordash. How long have I had these? I just listed these April 22nd. So I see Jordash occasionally and, and the only time I'll comp it is if it's in one of the styles that I'm aware of that's moving right now. And the high waist, tapered leg, like the mom jean stuff is still kind of hot right now still moving for me so um i comp these and they're probably i'm going to guess made in the usa let's see made in mexico so i would probably not buy these if they were made in china but mexico usa and vintage um and in this style i i would i would pick them up but i see jordash fairly often out there um just be careful with it comp it the size and the style um before you purchase it and try to resell it got 30 bucks for these i'm happy with that I bought them for, I think, $6.99. Oh, let me show you the, um, I don't know if I showed you the, the logos and stuff. Well, there's the tag, Jordash, on the inside. But there should be, yeah, so that's Jordash. I mean, I think most of you guys probably are familiar with it. All right, moving on. G-Star Raw. I, I do buy this brand occasionally. I prefer to get the uh, the 3D pants with the legs that are like, they're curved in. That was uh, that's what sells better. They have you can you can do some research on eBay, but you start raw and sort by uh, sells, and then look at the like thirty dollars and above or fifty dollars and above, and see what styles are moving for those price points. Um, this is not a great style to get, but I did get thirty one dollars for it, which I'm happy with. It's been setting since February. Uh, I pick this up occasionally, even the regular stuff, but I prefer the three D pants. They were selling. Really good last year. I don't know how the sell the sell through rate is right now, but there's G Star Restored Denim. That's on the inside. Inside, this would be easy to comp. You could just put G Star Lancet Skinny Jeans Men's. Put the size and see if it's moving. But it's not a bad, a horrible brand. It's not great. I don't find it that often. Are the ones I do find are the ones I don't want. I want the ones that Big Yumbo finds. That's what I want. All right. Adidas, some Gino shorts. I picked these up because they were just really cool patterns. I've never seen this pattern before. I don't normally pick up Adidas. Um, most of my sell success with Adidas has been with the uh, uh, the football shirts or well, soccer, um, but uh, football. Those those move pretty nicely, especially if you get a good team or you can find one with a, um, a team that uh, country goes crazy over. You can sell those for pretty good money. But these were really nice. I think they were new with tag when I got them, but I needed to wash them because there was like a smudge on it. So I took the tag off, but they're in mint condition. And so I listed it as pre-owned. Uh, but yeah, it was 29 bucks for shorts that I bought for probably $4.99. They've, they were listed on April 23rd. But it was a good one. 511 Tactical. This is a bread and butter for me. I've got tons of 511 in my store. I sell 511 every week. Um, I don't typically get 30 bucks for these, but this one went for $30. I tend to try to, I, I'll price it up a little bit. And then as things age in my store, the price will drop slowly, or I'll just accept offers from people. 
Uh, but 5.11 is pretty hot right now. It does, it does well. And I, I pick up the pants anytime I see the pants. The shirts, I pass on unless it's just got a crazy pattern or something or, or like concealment pockets everywhere. And like, I know people are going to be after it. But I pretty much just do the, the uh, pants and then the jeans. If you can find the jeans, they sell better than, the, um, than these tactical pants. The jeans go for more money. They go for like $35, $45 range. Um, and they sell faster. Yeah, so I, let me show you, make sure you see the logo. 511 Tactical. And there's all kinds of tactical brands out there, and some of them go for crazy money. And then there's a lot of them that are just kind of like 511, like there's proper, there's, I don't know what other brands that aren't. I don't, I just do 511 Tactical, and then anything above that. I don't do a, like the, there's a bunch of cheap brands out there, just junk that I don't. I don't mess around with Polo Ralph Lauren. What's so special about these? Classic 867. When did I list these? May 16th. So these went fast. I took an offer, um, and I didn't get the picture that uh, I was going to show you. I know that it's the classic 867 because behind the zipper right here, if you open that little flap, it's going to say classic 867. I meant to take a picture of it and I forgot, and. Um, so I just uh, put it in the title so people would know, but that's going to be crucial information for your customer um, to get that information. And not all Polo Ralph Lauren jeans have the information inside the, I don't know what, what line of product it is that has that information in there, but those are pretty much the only ones I buy. Other than that, I stay away from the brand, um, from the jeans. But there's a tag on the outside. Uh, let's see, what else, can, how else could you identify it? I just kind of know from looking at them if the, what it is. I've just been doing this long enough. I know which ones I like and which ones I don't like. Let me see if it says 867. I don't see it anywhere. Um, but yeah, okay, and then there's Ralph Lauren right there. You can see that on the outside. And comp them and go. But check inside that zipper, and you'll start getting used to which ones to look at and which ones to pass. Solomon Waterproof Hiking Boots. $33 for these. Let's see. Oh, $7.99 shipping. Usually I do $16.99 shipping, so I screwed that up. Um, these have been setting for a little while. I listed these in January. I was hoping to sell them in January or February, and they finally, they just finally went. But they're pretty cool. Um, as I'm going through the thrift, usually I look at boots first because they're tall, and uh, I'll go pick up the the boot, if it's if it's real leather and got some weight to it, I'll look at the brand. If it feels cheap, I just throw it back down. And I'll look at the hiking, the outdoor stuff. Like there's all kinds of outdoor hiking uh, brands that do very well. And this was an okay sell, 30, 32 bucks. I'm happy with that. I don't know what I paid for these. I probably would have paid up to 9.99, maybe 12.99 to get them. Um, and thinking I was probably gonna sell it for 40, but they didn't, they went for 31 bucks. Tommy Bahama, I am buying tons of Tommy Bahama right now. I just keep finding awesome patterns. I stay away from the plain, the plain Tommy Bahama, but when I see something like this, I'll pick it up every time. I buy these for $4.99 basically and sell them for like the $25 to $35 range. I took an offer on this one. I'm pretty easy to take offers on stuff. As long as someone gives me a fair offer, I would have taken up to like $22, $23 bucks for it. Um, and make a little bit on my shipping. But this one was just a beautiful shirt. Uh, I got lucky last week and found tons of Tommy Bahama, uh, just all kinds of uh, cool designs. And that's what I go for. I go for flashy, cool designs that I think will sell. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be silk. It can be a cotton mix um, if it looks really nice. And I'll list it. If it's, a, if it's more plain looking, I'll like, like, do like $19.99 $19 or something. For the price, uh, something like this, I'll try to go with mid twenties, and if it's really nice looking or rare or have embroidery on the back, uh, I'll go up to the thirty-five, forty dollar range. I've got several of them with embroideries on the back. I'll be listing today. I think three, three or four of them. Those go for more money. And then the collabs with like Disney and NFL, M MLB, uh, go for more money. Judy Blue. This used to be a bread and butter of mine, and I was selling Judy Blue every week for a while and buying it and finding it all the time. I don't find it much anymore, and it's not selling as well anymore. These have been selling since February. Uh, there were some skinny jeans, 
but still got 27 bucks for them. I'm, I'm happy with that. I have a lot of these listed still, so I know the prices are just going to keep dropping. So I'm, I think it's safe to say Judy Blue is not as hot as it was. I don't know if it's going to continue to trend down or just fizzle out. Who knows? But these trends come and they go, and the brands come and go. Uh, I, I guess at this point, if I see Judy Blue, I'm going to comp it to see if it's got a good sell-through rate or not. But for at least the last, I want to say year, I've just been grabbing it and throwing it in the basket and running with it and making money like crazy. But they're not moving for me. I don't know if it's seasonal, if it's just a season, or if it's um, just the brand's not not uh, trending anymore. But Judy Blue, it's probably still worth comping, I'd say. Um, and selling for 27 bucks. Lululemon is another bread and butter. I pick up most Lululemon. I like finding the pants. I stay away from the leggings because they don't sell as well and they don't go for as much money. There are some leggings, some styles of leggings that do very well, but I just stay away from them. Uh, I like the pants and the shorts and then uh, the jackets and the hoodies. Those all go for a decent amount of money and they go fast. Lululemon always sells fast. And then the shirts, when I find them, I try to post them for like the $25 to $30 range and then take offers from there. Uh, the shirts, I don't know how to name them or use. I don't, I don't know the keywords for the shirts because the shirts don't have the dot, the Lululemon dot on them. There's the logo right there. If you're new to Lululemon or you're new to thrifting, like it's hard to, to identify Lululemon because they, their little logo is the same color as the shirt and they don't have a tag. Sometimes they'll have a tag, but it's designed to fall off after a few washes. So usually it's, it's a really long tag. Usually it's, um, you're not going to see the tag, but I still pick up the shirts and list them for around 29 bucks and uh, take offers from there. This one was listed on April 16th, so it hasn't been around too long. And with shipping, got 30 bucks, 31. Let's see, I'll go, I'll keep going, I guess. Brooks Brothers. This was a cool shirt. Um, I like Brooks Brothers, but I'm very careful with what I pick up. I don't, I pass up most of their stuff, but they do have some, um, some nice things. Sometimes they'll have 100% merino wool, which is worth looking at. This is a patchwork shirt, which was really cool looking. I put Madras on there. I probably just use that as a keyword. I don't know if that's actually in their title or if that's actually what it is. It just reminds me of the Indian Madras. I should understand better what that is, but um, I put that as a keyword. And then this, this patchwork all over. It's just really cool looking. Anytime I see something like this, I'm going to look at it. And if it's a decent brand, I'll probably comp it. Um, this one I may have just picked up. Brooks Brothers, I'd be okay just throwing that in my basket and going about my day and then selling it later. So 27 bucks for it. It's been setting since March 20th. So I went for 10% off. I like that shirt. I'd pick that up again. Vintage Boy Scout. I listed these a while back, I think. Let's see. Nope, March 27th. So it hasn't been, it's not been too long. But let me show you the tag. So this is, um, that's the outside tag. Let me show you the inside tag. This is the inside tag. It doesn't have much information on it. Um, but when I did a little bit of research on it, I was like, these are vintage. So I put them as vintage. I don't know what information we can get from this. Made in the USA. And I moved them for tw almost 25, 24 and some change. Listed on March 27th. I would buy these again. I, I buy Boy Scout stuff, but I buy almost exclusively men's. I don't buy the kids and I don't buy the women's that often. Sometimes I buy the women's just to see if I can move it. But the guys that stuff does really well. The convertible pants do really well for me. Um, and the shorts sell too, like hotcakes. And then the pants sell. But I'm, I'm focused more on getting the men's, the men's stuff for uh, Boy Scouts. Rain Spooner. 27 bucks for this shirt. I'm happy with that. I uh, listed it February 4th. It's been setting around a while. Maybe I would have got more for it if I listed it closer to the season it should be listed in. But this was just a cool design. Um, I don't know much about Rain Spooner. I've bought and sold the brand before. I would probably comp it before buying it. There's your tag. Uh, but it's just got a really cool pattern on there. This is like a tribal aztec -y pattern. And I was pretty sure it would sell this summer. For a decent amount of money so i'm just buying all kinds of stuff like this right now bathing suits and hawaiian shirts uh just outdoor stuff vacation-y stuff here's another example of a hawaiian shirt so this is um, houston astros uh 
and, and let's see, is this collab? Cooperstown, Houston Astros, Hawaiian shirt. Um, and it's got, I'll show you on the, it's got some holes in it. So it's got a hole there and a hole there. And it still went for, I think I took an offer of 20 bucks. I just dropped, I just let the guy get it for 20 because I'm like, yeah, it's got holes in it. So we'll let it go. If it didn't have the holes, I probably would have priced this up closer to 29, maybe even the low 30s and moved it. It's a really cool looking shirt. Uh, if you can find sports stuff, especially if it's um, professional league, uh, college stuff, it, you have a good chance of selling it if the team's doing well or if the the area is just really into their team. Be careful with high school stuff; like that doesn't do very well. The college and and uh, and pro do pretty well. I'd buy that again if I saw it. Cool. I'll go to these last two and then I'll wrap it up. Uh, let's see. Cool. If, you, if you've hung in there this long, thank you. I appreciate it. Remember to click that subscribe button, do the thumbs up thing. I buy cool no, ma no matter what it is pretty much, even the shirts. The shirts don't do that well. They don't sell for that much money, but the brand brings in some views. Um, the shorts and the pants are what I really prefer to get, and I really prefer the pants. And cool has a name for everything. So if you buy something, try to get that style number. If you can't get the style number from the tag, sometimes I can't find it anywhere. Go to the website, find what is identical to yours, and try to get that keyword. You need this keyword to be able to move it faster and for more money. Um, and and sometimes it's just hard to find. Like if you have something that's older and it's not on the website, it's just really hard to find the keyword. This one even had a a little spot. It looks like a little blue stain on there, but this is um, just some shorts. Here I'll show. So they logo pretty heavily. They always have usually have something on their button. And then they almost always have their logo here. Sometimes it's different colors. Sometimes it's all gray. Sometimes it's in the shape of a heart. And then it says cool here. So K-U-H-L, it's a good brand. If you see the shorts and the pants and you're new, like look at those and comp them. Uh, the shirts don't go for as much or as fast, uh, but some of the pants can go. You can sell those up for in the 40 to $70 range, depending on which one it is. All right, we'll do this one last and we'll call it. I uh, took an offer on this one. I think it was like $22, $22, dollar offer. This is a Carhartt hoodie. Just a pullover, nothing special about it. Loose fit, Carhartt. I think everybody's familiar with Carhartt. And then it has this embroidery on it. If it's got, if your stuff has a, an embroidery on it, I just take a picture of it so the customer knows. Like there's some, some company, some group, some club somewhere that, has an embroidery on it. Um, it's never, I don't think it's ever stopped me from buying anything. I, I don't, some people won't buy stuff that's embroidered with stuff like that, but I even bought a, um, it was a, uh, what was it? Summer Comfort. Who does the Summer Comfort stuff? Uh, I can't remember. Oh, Peter Millar's Summer Comfort shirt. And it had a uh, Pickle Boy embroidered on it. I bought two shirts like that and they both sold. Or I know I've sold one of them at least. But uh, this is the weird embroidery, Pickle Boy. All right, so well, I'll show you real quick. This is my Poshmark sales for the weekend. Not a whole lot of sales, but um, so Vintage Guy Harvey is okay. I sold that for 22 bucks, bought it for 499 Tory Burch, some jeans. Uh, Tom Bain, I don't, I'm not familiar with that. I'm glad it's gone. I probably won't buy that again. Chubbies, I do buy Chubbies still. Chubbies move fast, especially if you can find the ones made in the USA. Um, I find these several times a month. It's not all the time, but... Um, usually you list chubby, you get them for four ninety nine and sell them really quickly for like in the twenty twenty dollar range. And then uh, Carhartt, FR pants, and then some more Polo Ralph Lauren, Varick Slim. Again, that's that's gonna. I think that that. Let me see. I don't want to click on because I think behind this is customer information. I should have been better prepared uh, with with my windows here. And then some Levi's for forty bucks. Uh, yeah. That's it, guys. I will do this again tomorrow for you. If you have any questions, you want to know about anything about what I'm doing or how I'm doing it, just leave, leave the comments below. Um, I've offered before to do Zoom calls with people if they want to just kind of chat with me and say, like, how are you doing this and how much time I put into it. I put all, I put all my time into this. It does take a lot of work. Um, and I'm not, I'm not even the best at it. I'm just a small store. I just went full time in November of last year. I haven't been doing it that long. Uh, I'm just kind of learning as I go. So, uh, but thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully.